You know, I see the bridge as such an iconic thing. Here in America, we came from east, we went west, and they built bridges that did everything to make a connection to the new land. There's something iconic about, you know, you build a bridge and then you blow it up. Like, you make a connection and then you disconnect. It's a bridge going from one stage to another. It goes from being a bridge to being a ruin. So it's kind of a beautiful metaphor as like, or a question mark, what are we going to do next? You know, what's, what are the stage we're in now? What's going to happen after that? When we have a conversation or a debate, it's always like we have a, you know, different opinions. We have two poles in a conversation. In politics, we have life and death and life. We have two elements and it's always about the conversation. It's not like about finding a middle place where we agree about everything. There's always going to be two sides of the same story. The winners in the war, the losers in the war. Or understanding one thing to understanding another thing. That's the fascination I have with the transitional moment, like the candle burning down, like the fruits getting rotten, and the beer cans that have been drunk. The fascinating thing, the beautiful things, and also the ugly things. If you have something obvious, I try to go the other way. There must be a beauty in the other direction, in the ugly, in the element that is uh, not supposed to be beautiful or fascinating or has uh, the, the valuable story in it. The beauty is also about the, the interest, the interesting moment, the interesting aspect the in interesting conversation searching about those in the non-obvious elements is very fascinating of course you see patterns in story but it's nice to be surprised about an element you haven't seen before there must be in this transition in this transitional mode there must be a new way a third way of looking at it that's what i'm looking for and that's what i'm trying to illustrate